I'm 80 and maybe I'm becoming intolerant, but I'm finding it, I'm really struggling with um, what I'm observing all the time with the idiocy of people. And I'm not going to mince my words, there's no point. You'll often hear that pump storage can be used to back up renewable energy. It can't. And the reason is very, very simple. Take to Norwich, and I was water resource engineer for that. It was in my area. Um, if you take that, it pumps up water from one existing lake to another existing lake, which they increased in size, and they let it down when you need the water. Nice and simple, isn't it? The costs to just cope with the 21, 22 day uh, wind drought we had in 2022 December, do you know how many Genorwigs it would take? 2,200 Genorwigs. So we're looking at trillions and trillions. It's not viable. Of course, we can't install those. and We haven't got the materials to do it. We haven't got the resources to do it. It's not viable on such a scale that it's incredible. And pump storage is not designed. In Norway, it was designed to take the stable power from coal and from nuclear, which in the 1970s, that was the base, and gas, some gas, that's stable. And overnight, to pump up um, 12 gigawatt hours worth of pump storage of water and let it down the day and get 9.1 back. That was the game. To do it the next day, to take out those peaks. That's all. It was an efficiency thing, day tonight night today that's all it was so i've done a paper it's below and it shows you <laughs> how ridiculous it is to think of pump storage not as as it was designed for like in denorwick but to back up renewables you know what the problem is these idiots don't actually count the number of days they'd need they look uh, like a child would look I just, oh, but do that, pump storage, it's a long-term thing. I'm doing another big video for the Isle of Man because they're experts saying, oh, yeah, this is a long-term storage. It isn't. It's as simple as that. So let me just tell you again, 2,200 just to cover December, and that is not the worst one. That is not the worst wind drought. And so my paper goes into this. It's easy to read. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to sheet a little bit and add a few seconds for a postscript. I'm a member of the College of Advanced UK, which is a new political party. It's only about three or, three or four months old. And it's really growing rapidly because of its policies based on principles. As a member of the college, I don't get paid anything, can't even get expenses. I can't stand for election in anything. So I'm there just to help formulate policies and help in other ways where um, the college members can bring a lot of experience in from the world across a lot of subjects and help formulate sensible policies. And that's what we're involved with at the moment. We're not rushing to it. We're not going to follow the latest news in the papers, etc. We're formulating the proper stuff. And of course, um, part of that will be net zero. And part of that will be you know, the economics of it and so on and so on. And so if you are interested in joining me in that party, all you have to do is click on the link in the description below and you can join. It's £20 a year for the membership. So uh, I'm just cheating by adding that bit on because that's the way I want to change the world. And I hope you can join me in changing the world as well. Thank you for watching.